Hello my friends. I am in Missouri this week and I thought it would be fun to kind of take you along for some of the things I get to see and do. I'm here on a blogger retreat. Um, I meet up with some great blog and YouTube friends every year and this year we're here in Missouri to go visit Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone. Lisa has brought us to Long Row Lavender. I've followed them on Instagram for a long time. And now I get to see it in person here in Missouri. It smells so good in here. Fresh bundles. Ooh, that's my dream to someday own a copper distiller. It's really pretty. Some lip balm. Lavender foaming soap. Ooh, I might get that. Look at all these pretty tea towels. If I don't get enough stairs. Lavender brownie mix. <laughs> Culinary lavender. Yum. Those bird prints are really cute. Heaven. Handmade soaps. This shop is so pretty.
piece, it'll get it going again. And we'll rub, you can rub it between the palms. So you're right. making wands? Just because it's like compacted or Oh, because this variety here, the name is phenomenal. Oh, I've heard it about that. It doesn't open as much and it retains its oils better. And so the oil is trapped in there. So phenomenal by activating lavender. that again, yeah. it'll get its scent going. You don't find other varieties hold their scent as well? Which one? Other varieties don't hold their scent as well as this um, one? Some of them don't. They're more decorative than anything. They get a real big kind of bulb at the top. And so they're good for like a few. They're yeah. good for sachets and stuff because yeah. they make they little plump granules. Mm -hmm. Or they're good for like wreaths or things like that. But this one, they don't open as much. And so the if it gets stand. too big, you can't really make the wand out of it because as this dries, it shrinks a little. Uh Here at the lavender farm, what's it called? Long Row Lavender. Long Row Lavender. Here's Laura from our oily house and Lisa, the most wonderful host from Farmhouse <laughs> on Boone. <laughs> it is Long Row Lavender's you pick days. So you can come here and cut some fresh bundles. What a cute idea. Now we are at an antique store because that's What's what we do. Antique barn. Antique barn, antique barn in Missouri. We always find the antique malls. Right. Really pretty discs. Don't think I can ship them home, but they're very pretty. the most perfect nightstand for our bedroom. How much? How much? $2.45. Great price. That is for a marble top. Uh, oh. If I, only I know. Not. If only not <laughs> this was on not in Missouri. <laughs> I am quite impressed with the art in this store. I feel like it's really good pricing. Well, at least on some of them. They're really pretty. Lots of good vintage art finds. This booth is really primitive. I love it. I can get that in my suitcase, but 34, that's a smoking deal. Oh my goodness. Those are so little. Oh my goodness, they're 
adorable. 65. I think so, it's 10 bucks. Oh yeah. This is for my daughter, she's about to turn 16. We are all admiring this big old countertop piece or something. It's so beautiful and huge. Now that's a door. It's gotta be like 10 feet tall. Incredible. The furniture in here is just killing me. Ignore all the stuff and look at this huge bookshelf. Oh, it'd be so pretty. I just found a matching piece for what we have in our house. And I would love to have it on the other side of our TV. But alas, it's in Missouri and I'm in Utah. But if I was here, that would be coming home. Yeah. Too big for my suitcase. That is stunning. There's a smaller one. So pretty. friends still in Missouri. Today we thought we'd stop by a thrift store. Haven't been to a thrift store for a long time actually so I'll let you know if I see anything good. Sarah from She Holds Dairy Lee. Hi. Hello. I <laughs> she's, love this one. she's loving this one right I here. Really I agree. Yeah, you would recover it? Yeah. I'd recover it. It's, it's got a great shape. Oh look at this. What is it? Oh it just comes right off. Yeah. Yeah, that's a still. Can't get it to Utah, but somebody should buy that. Okay, there's Sarah from, from Grace in My Space and Andrea from Pine and Prospect Home and Lisa filming at the same time. $60 for that marble top? I'm dying. Can you get that in your car? I think we should bring it home just because. I mean, that is so pretty. No, I love the patina. Yeah. That's, That's a good what, mirror. That actually looks like your style. It does. That's a good mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea found something else. <laughs> You'll see it in her home. I, yeah. guys, I can see this in my bedroom. I can too. I'm just not seeing how you're going to get all this home. Where's Sarah? Will this fit in her car? Ooh. Is it? It's kind of pretty. Context. Yes, that's what Sarah was saying. We gotta look at this couch. Isn't that just like scream Christmas? I can see that somehow, yeah, with like some of the stuff you do with velvet. Mm -hmm. Put them outside in the snow. Outside oh. in the snow? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, yeah. yeah. The mini sessions with one of those. It's such a pretty deep red. I really like it. I like it too. How much was it? I don't know. Do you see? 50 bucks? <laughs> Oh, we should have drove here from across the country, Sarah. Sarah <laughs> why, do, why am I not recording this? I feel like it's a little yellowy. I know, but I, it's if you scrubbed it, you would scrub it with soap and water. You think that have yellowy seen, would come like, off? Scrubbed pine. Yeah. Have you guys seen that? Let me see. Let me you just get a in. scrub brush and you scrub it with soap and water, and it like lightens up. Like I'm wondering if it would look more like this, have you like, like a pine. prettier, like a lighter. I don't know. I'm getting out of here. Do you guys find that often? Where you like the yes. underside oh, of the rug? Uh -huh. I always like it. Oh, I you would, could flip it yeah, over. I just put it the way you like it's, it. That's yeah. a beautiful like, rug. I like this faded look How more. much? 20? Is that what this is? Holy should put cow. This. <laughs> yeah. And this rug was how much, Lisa? 60. 60 bucks for that rug. They're going to die on the YouTube. They're going to die on the YouTube. Let's see it, Lisa. They're going to die on the <laughs> oh my heavens, that is so pretty. They have, they have blue and white quilts. Yeah, they have the juice. So right I don't know what I'd do with the little rug on top that I like. It's vintage. Ooh, that's pretty. You eventually give it to me, I bet. I bet I know where it would go. Laura's house. Shoot. I don't know if I like the pattern as much. Mm, the pattern is a little bit. 
too feminine. It's it's just not quite. Busy. I don't, I don't know if that's, that's like, your first instinct. Yeah, like, it's probably I, not. I usually, me either. I usually okay. like like medallions and things. Yeah. I agree. I'm not I'm loving so, it. I'm not either. I'm mm. to be a little Lots of pretty I pottery. So. They know I love this stuff. Is it cool or not really? Ruffles. I saw that. Too. I think I found my favorite item here. I think it could be cleaned up pretty. Easy. Yeah, that's a pretty planter. I think you can fit that in your uh, suitcase. Yeah, that's my carry-on mm -hmm. right there. Buy a ticket for the seat next to you. <laughs> you guys Ooh. Really like, um, it's like planter heaven over here. Yeah, that's a good. <laughs> that's a good shape. Oh, that one's really yeah, pretty, one. actually. We went to Portugal for our trip for Aaron's work. Andrea asked me if I go through the linens at a thrift store, and I do. Sometimes you can find really good stuff. Back in my early days of DIYing, I would have got something like this and made curtains or pillow covers. It's great for that. What'd you find? I just like the buttons. Yeah, the buttons are cute. Linen, buttons, and a bunch of them. Oh, brand new curtains. Oh, those are a bit, those are a little off. That's a little off. Yeah, that is strange. <laughs> Just like stuff it in your carry on. <laughs> really I totally pretty. That is you beautiful. Could. Is it a pillowcase? Pillow yeah. yeah, I think so. That is beautiful. Open them up. Oh, well, these are old. Is it stained? Well, I'll They're soak it in the, terrible. Oxy, the, what's the white one? OxyClean? Oxy is that what you would it's use? Oxy, there's a white one. White Revive OxyClean. Oh. That's what they do. Or Biz. And you feel like it would get rid of that oh, yellow. Yeah. That's what it gets rid of. This old. Really? Those edgings so these are match. so pretty. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would bug me. Like, oh, I would want to steam it. Yeah. It's a little different, though. Oh, that's called Battenberg lace. Mm. I don't like it because you have to iron. You have to it work it, it really hard mm -hmm. to iron it out. There. Battenberg lace. I never knew that. Burgers. Sarah's teaching us all sorts of things. Battenberg lace. Yeah, I don't get it. Vintage linens. Okay. I saw the basket. I think we're gonna have to fight. <laughs> I, I thought the basket was just oh, kind of look open at that. Basket. And how pretty to bend that, you know, to like bend that back on a bed. That's really pretty. So pretty. They they said, that there's a sign that, that says can. if you if there's no tag, yeah, they no. won't sell it. Wait, but, but it was in the basket. But then you have to buy the whole basket. I'll pay you fifteen dollars. <laughs> so Lisa, basket. do you need a basket? basket? No, but I want every barn. I don't want the basket. Oh, I thought it was just the basket. Me too. <laughs> we did it open, full of and the basket wasn't very cute. Is it? Is it? She, you liked it's, it? Yeah. You in your car? Oh come With the basket? Not if we get well, you can throw away the basket. Baby. Just buy the basket no, and put it back up to the good wall. But I did <laughs> find an amazing mirror that I was Wait, like, does the linen just go with the basket? I guess so. I don't know. I'm going to ask. Uh, I don't think it's, it's not, linen. It's not linen. It's like a... It's, oh, it's got a little cute... Kind of detailing like, on the um, edge here. Might, what's the word I'm looking for? Muslin. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's like a like receiving kind of blanket. Like muslin. Yeah. yeah okay. So anyone find the? I think it's cotton, but it's got really nice texture. Do you want it? I don't. <laughs> no, if I can fit anything else in my suitcase. <laughs> Do you know, I hung one of those Ooh, like that in my daughter's crazy. window for a curtain, just yes, on clips. It is idea. so what you sweet. Use it for? What would you use it for? It's very cottage core, right, Sarah? Cover. Yeah. Cottage core. <laughs> just a table covering for like outside for the summer. Yeah. So light. Yeah. These are cute. I've never seen that design before. Cute. Okay, I am loving these. Kind of a two-tone brown on brown. Very pretty. Oh, I like that. that. Yours is um yours is a little bit Different. For sifting flour, or yes, what would you use it for? I said powdered sugar. Yeah. You know, like put a little powdered sugar uh -huh. on the top of your... I have a copper one kind of like that. Do you? Or cocoa powder. Sweet. If you have dessert, you but do cocoa powder. I'm a food blogger. For you, I don't do it as much, but I feel like it just makes all the difference when you use these pretty items oh, I agree. in all of your shots. Completely. Okay, I've been looking for one. Oh, oh. Sweet. 99 cents. Oh my goodness. 
a dollar. Or is that four ninety nine? I think it's ninety nine. Either way, that's a bargain. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Pretty. That's stuff you would see at an antique store for a lot more money than that. Literally the best thrift store I've ever been in. So this is like a wicker pillow. I told her I liked it, and she said this was what not and I, to get. And she goes, oh, oh. <laughs> what I not to get. It is a basket. A basket <laughs> pillow. So what do you put in that? I have never seen anything like that. Yeah, Definitely yeah, not for naps. I told Lisa, I said, why would you give this to the thrift store? Right. <laughs> you would drown. Oh, a little dress. What if I wore like a little skinny belt with Put a belt. It? Put some elastic in it. Oh, it's linen. I know, <laughs> right? Oh, it's linen. Linen. I would sleep in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just take it yeah, as a nightgown. Oh, wonder all the stuff. <gasps> Ooh. Like you see the um. Yeah, the braces. Yeah. I don't know oh, how old pretty. it is, but fifty-five bucks. It's pretty. I mean, this is oh. solid wood. Oak. All right, we got our goods. We're coming back, so. Well, they close at five. Right, so. We're coming back. Well, we'll get nice. <laughs> Sarah's got her goods right there. <laughs> Here we are, the first time I've ever seen the Missouri River. So we head home tomorrow, but look at the beautiful place Lisa brought us to for our last dinner together. It's an old winery that she loves to go on for date nights, so we're going to check out the scenery and the food. Hostess tip, send your <laughs> guests home with a sourdough starter. <laughs> yes. Whatever you are famous for, you have to send your guests home with some little sample of it. I agree. Okay, Just so what am I going to get? Sourdough bread. So what do I get when I go to Cammy's? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, some linen. What do we oh, get? Linen. Linen. Planners. 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 Okay. It's the lavender. We'll see. I'll be thinking about that all year long. So next year... Tammy will be hosting. Yep. We rotate homes every year. Yep, we'll get your... Bringing them to the Rocky Mountains. Mm -hmm. Bundle up, girls. All right, we're on our way to the airport, and of course, antique stores are calling, so I gotta show you this table. I love this table. Not super in love with the top, but I would take that off and replace it with marble. But those legs are very unique, and I just, my jaw hit the floor when I saw it. Super pretty. I found this treasure trove of old patterns. And in a world where I had time, I would love to take these and make all sorts of sewing projects. So cute. Okay, friends, I made it home and I've laid out all my treasures that I bought at the antique stores we visited. Um, I'll just say I got fully investigated at the airport. <laughs> These items were um, very questionable, apparently. and But in the end, all the TSA agents were just excited about the cool finds that I found in Missouri. So... <laughs> It was a little nerve-wracking, but um, it ended up okay. So let me show you what I brought home. Okay, this one wasn't found at an antique store, but I love how textured it is. Here's actually the bedding I'm um, 
collecting to gear up for our bedroom makeover. So this is just perfect with all of that. So I found some cute books. This Norman Rockwell storybook I grabbed. Farmer Boy. My kids are already excited to read that one. Um, Lara recommended, well, she told me her kids love this We Held Daddy book. So my little guy's already read it. I found that little painting quite endearing, Joy Cometh in the Morning. So I grabbed that, shoved it in the suitcase. <laughs> so these were really the items that they were very cautious about <laughs> in security on the, in the airport. But um, they cleared, nothing questionable hiding in these darling vintage bowling pins. Here's a cute little ruler, an accordion type ruler. And then I was obsessed with these old homemaking books, Home Kinks. It's basically like home hacks that we share on Instagram and stuff. So maybe I should find some good ideas and duplicate them for the channel. I thought that'd be fun. Um, do it yourself handbook and home care and repair guide. I just thought these were fascinating and probably can give me some great ideas for the channel. This book, when she was about 16. My daughter is about 16, so that's for her. I loved these bird prints, and they'll go so good in my daughter's cottagecore bedroom. If you remember, she has that bird fabric canopy, so I'm really excited to hang those up in her room. They're actually like real feathers, if you can tell, um, and then mixed with painting. I just think they're so cute. And then that little fan, I'm also going to hang on my daughter's pegs in her cottage core room. This is a little model of the Mayflower for the hubs. He is obsessed with ships and it got a little smashed and stuff on the airplane. So I might need to do some stitching up to it, but I think he likes it. <laughs> and then uh, the matching... Um, flag bag that Sarah also got. So there's my loot. My bag was chuck full, but we got it home. Oh, I almost forgot. I also got a long row lavender t-shirt. Super cute and comfy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming along with us for this blogger YouTuber retreat. All of these ladies have a YouTube channel. And a blog and of course they're on social media so if you want to go follow them along and learn more about what they share I will link to each one in the description below so I hope you enjoy getting to know them I find every one of these women so inspiring and it was so rejuvenating for me to be with them I've heard it before I don't know where but I've heard it said that you are the average of the five people that you hang out with most so if I can be the average of these incredible women, I um, would be pretty honored. <laughs> anyway, go check out their channel and I will be back soon to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home. Thanks for watching.